So tell us about the GS arrangements that you have. Well, GS1 Philippines is part of a, uh, a global organization, you know, uh, consisting of around 115 economies that have banded together to create a language for business. And this would entail the barcoding of products wherein uh, in the process of uh, cross-border trade, you are able to communicate and talk about your particular product. That's mm -hmm. why there are barcode numbers in every product. Okay. How will this benefit the Filipino consumers? Well, at the end of the day, this is consumer protection. Because uh, imagine, when we start asking the, uh, the uh, manufacturers, fabricators, to put a barcode in the product, they will now start putting in the ingredients. You know, if, if you are into cosmetics or pharmaceuticals, you know, you'll put your allergens, the different attributes. Mm -hmm. It does not only consist of, of, uh, of uh, the, the uh, expiry date, but it also shows, it will also show the, the certificate of origin, where it's coming from. In other words, a particular product or agricultural product for that matter, you know, is numbered and that number shows also where, where it has been produced. If areas of production and manufacturing are registered, we can also eliminate counterfeit, mm -hmm. smuggling. Okay. No, there are a number of things that you can benefit because it already shows, the, the, the barcode shows, you know, the different kinds of uh, attributes and, and, and makeup of a particular product. While it is numbered, you know, the uh, GS1 Philippines towards the third quarter of this year probably would be able already to trace these products from the point of origin all the way to the consumers. I see. How would we prevent counterfeit barcodes? By the numbers. Because there are specific numbers that are monitored, are given to you to, to, to different, and each product and that's the reason why we're looking at a single identifiable number. You know? mm -hmm. and, and this will be likewise with uh, uh, the true with other products coming from cross borders. You know? So it can be identified. And that number, if a particular product, for example, this cigarette, if this cigarette becomes blue, it has a different number. Mm -hmm. you know? it identifies already which kind. Is it a menthol, a regular, or whatever? Mm -hmm. no, or particular, probably this phone. No, each one will have an ident unique identifiable uh, number that will send that message or that communication that this is the, kind, the product that you want and these are what it's made of. Okay. So, at the end of the day, you, know, you, the, you are able to give your consumers the uh, correct information and the option you know, to buy or not to buy a particular product. Okay. Very good. When will this start? Well, we have started, except that we are still trying to bring in different industries to comply with uh, the different information necessary. Uh, <coughs> and so far as GS1 Philippines is concerned, you know, we have the full cooperation of the pharmaceutical industry and the cosmetics. Uh, I have talked to the supermarket chain. Now they are now in the process of uh, informing all those uh, bringing in their products for in the supermarket, also to have certain information. So we would, since since uh, the the barcode is uh, downloadable and it's free, anybody can scan, you know, mm -hmm. to get the information of a particular product. Okay. It's a simple question mm. for the people of the States. What is a barcode and how does it help the consumer? Uh, will it not uh, bring higher prices to goods? Okay. Not really, because like this, the barcode exists already. Mm. No? It's just a matter of inputting more information necessary for the consumers and, and the buyers. No, let's say for the traders too, they would know. We would be able to identify the kind of products, its attributes, you know, its expiry date, you know, uh, 
and uh, when it was made. So, for the simple reason that uh, you have uh, the Philippine GS1 has, has accredited the manufacturers of uh, product A to be coming only in location B and C, when products coming from a different area, you know that's counterfeit. You know that's counterfeit. Oh, that's not real. You know, it might not possess the real ingredients that's, uh, that the buyer expects from a particular product.